So when we're making our line sculptures, the most important thing that we need on all of our lines, no matter what line you are doing, they need to have feet. And I call them feet because the little bend like this looks like a foot, oops, a foot, right? And we are always going to put glue on the bottom of the feet. And just like humans, most humans, we have two feet. So I'm going to go to this end now and I'm going to fold it in the same direction. So I made this one go in when I was on this side, like that. So I go on this side and I fold in like this and then I just do a little pinch and now I have my two feet. Now I'm going to put glue on the bottom of both of the feet. So I'll get my glue stick. Now when we're using the glue, we never want to roll it up really high. That actually will just cause us problems and ruin our glue stick. So I always want you guys to roll up your glue stick just about this much. Do you see, you can barely see any purple. I'm not even going to roll it up all the way because that might break my glue stick and I don't want that to happen. And then when we're done, it's super important that we roll it down before we put the cap on, okay? So I roll it up about this much. Now, where do I put the glue? Top of the feet? Nope, bottom of the feet. So I always think like we wanna be stuck down. So I'm just gonna put a little glue, see just a little bit. I don't have the chunky chunks. Then I go on the side, I do a little bit of glue, okay? Now we're gonna stick our feet down. So this first little um, line or 3D line I'm gonna show you is just kind of like a rainbow or a curved line that we learned. So I wanna angle my camera a little bit here. So I'm going to find a spot anywhere on my paper, that's up to you. They're gonna start intersecting and layering. So I'm going to find that right here. I'm just gonna press with my finger, stick that foot down. Remember it already has glue on it. And then I can just kind of decide, do I want it to be super loopy like that? Do I want it to be more down like that? You can decide. I'm gonna go like this and then I press. So that's just a simple curved line. Let's try a zigzag. This might be my favorite, so watch closely. Okay, so a zigzag, again, we need the feet. So I'm going to act. I'm going to go like this, make a foot. Now the zigzag is basically just a bunch of feet. Then I'm going to flip it this way and pinch. Then I'm going to bring the top over like this. So you're bringing the top over and I pinch. And I bring the top over and I pinch. So see, it's kind of collecting into this little accordion. Bring it over, pinch. And I'm trying to keep all of my folds about the same size. They're getting a little bit off here, that's okay. Pinch. You could make them really small too. And da-da. So now I have my zigzagged line. And I still see I have my feet, right? So those still need to be glued down. So I'm going to get my glue and put some glue on the bottom of this foot. And then I'm going to put some on the bottom of this foot. Now I can glue this wherever I want. I'm gonna go like here. I press, make sure you add pressure. So press with your fingers. Then maybe like this. Ooh, I could even, wow, I didn't even mean to do this. I could make this into a star. And the reason that it's a star is because I have just the right amount of folds. If I had a couple more zigzags, this wouldn't actually look like a star. So that was kind of fun. Okay, um, what's another one we could do? We could make a circle. So to make a circle, what you do, this is actually the only one that does not have feet. Other than that, you need to have feet. I go to one side, put a little bit of glue. I'm going to take my paper and I'm going to have them meet right where this glue is, okay? So I'm sticking this right on top. Pinch, pinch, pinch. Now, ah, there's no feet. How am I going to stick this down? Well, we just find a spot that we think would be flat. So any of these. I'm gonna go where I just glued to kind of hide that seam. I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue, not a whole lot. It's because there's only gonna be a little bit that's connected to the paper, right? And then I can stick it down. 
Hmm, what's another one we could do? We could do a loop. So a loop, again, we need our feet. So I'm gonna fold in, pinch. Go to this side, fold in, pinch. A loop, we could glue one foot down, and now watch what I do. It's kind of tricky. I bring this up, like if we're thinking a roller coaster, I go up, over, whoopsies, up, over, and down. And then it's kind of like a twist. Now I didn't glue yet, so I'm gonna try that again. So I'm gonna put some glue on the bottom of both of my feet. And then I'm gonna stick it down, press down. Now watch, I take this end, I go up, over, around, and down. And I have this fun twist. Okay, again, I have my feet already done on this one. This one I'm gonna just make into a triangle. So a triangle has three sides and the bottom of our paper is kind of going to be our third side. So we actually just need to fold this in half like this. Pinch. Put the glue on the bottom of those feet. And then I can stick it down. Oh, I don't really like that spot. Can stick it down. down and I have kind of like a triangle or a tent. You can repeat lines you've already done. You can even put lines on top of each other. So I'll make a foot like this. Stick it down. Press, press, press. Whoopsies, I forgot another foot. I still need it no matter what I'm doing. Put some glue. Okay, I have one more color. I'm going to just do one more zigzag, I think. So I'm going to go, I press in, and then I go over, pinch, over, pinch, over, pinch, over, pinch, over, pinch. Over, pinch over, pinch. Put some glue. Stick it down here. Put some more glue. Ooh, this might be fun. So you can be creative with how you build with your line sculptures. Um, I don't want to see any cutting today, just gluing. Please show me your very best glue skills and work on your neatness and have so much fun. I can't wait to see these.